G'day, this is Peter back with another episode of The Property Club and today we're looking for houses for sale in Angeles City priced below US$100,000. So we're looking at houses that we can potentially pick up for less than $100,000 and it seems to start around the twos, the mid twos. Uh, I've got this listing that we're having a look at. So let's have a look at this. Starting from cheapest to most expensive, let's have a look. This looks like it's a little bit outside Angeles. It doesn't stipulate what um, you know area it's in exactly, whether it's Balibargo or Amsic or, or where it is, but it does look like a nice house. It's on 500 square meters. It's a small house though. It's got a little lanai terrace uh, entry to the front, two bedrooms and one bathroom, and it's a clean title for 2.5 million. Let's have a look. Big yard room for toys and it's a nice looking home actually might want to extend the deck it really is just a smaller Filipino style home but on a good 500 square meter allotment moving along this next one this is a new subdivision and it's the Solana Frontera the Victoria model and it's 92 square meters internally and it's a lot size of 132 square meters. Let's have a look. This is priced at 2.9 million. Very modern inside. Actually, it's not too far from the Marquee Mall, this subdivision, and it is new and the prices start from around about 2.9 what you're seeing here this is the cheapest house available in this village right now and that's it for 2.9 the next one this little two-story townhouse it's only a small house it's priced at 3 million but it's a great location it's located in Timog Park Homes and it's a three bedroom with a one bedroom, uh, one bathroom and a dirty kitchen. Let's have a look at this. Room for a car as well. And actually this was the cheapest house I could find in Timog Park Homes. Aircon looks like it needs updating. Maybe a few touch ups around the house. Okay, the next one priced at 3.5 million. It's a little Filipino style home. And let's have a look at this. It's priced at 3.5 million and it's 96 square meters in a small gated subdivision. So very Fili Filipino style. You can see the Pinoy style, the Pinoy pride out the front here. Nice little home. Only small though. Small kitchen. Actually, our kitchen looks very similar to that. Funny that. <laughs> Definitely need to update our kitchen. And that's it. And that's priced at 3.5 million. Next one for 3.5 million is in the Metro Gate. Actually, this is the best value home for sale in Metro Gate subdivision, which is a nice subdivision. And it's very, very close to Marquee Mall, um, the Yala development there. And there's a lot being developed in this location. Actually, it's only 150 square meters, but that's fairly reasonable for this state, 150 square meters. And internally, it's 110 square meters for two bed, three bath with a garage. Let's have a look. That's the home. It does have a balcony here and out the front as well, which is nice. With a nice leafy outlook. Have a look at that. Room for a yard. You can see there's a uh, space where you can park your motorbikes at the back as well. That's it for 3.5 million. 
This next one priced at 3.6 million is located in Brentwood subdivision for 3.6 million. Two bedrooms, two bath with one garage. And it comes with something special, an indoor swimming pool. And this is only 3.6 million. Take a look at this. Now there could be some fun times in this indoor swimming pool, that's for sure. Check it out. What a feature. And that's it. Next one is 4.3 million and this is three bedroom, three bath. And it's in Solana Frontera again. Let's have a look. And it's a 160 square meter lot and internally it's 160 square meters. So looks like it has a carport that will fit probably two cars. Good size. So this is the second house we've seen in this subdivision today. And it's a two story and a very good size, 160 square meters. Moving along, this next one priced at 4.5 million is a duplex. And believe it or not, this duplex is under a condominium title. So foreigners can own it. It's in a really good location. I believe it is located in the Enclave, which is a very kind of upmarket uh, estate in Angeles City in a really, really good location along Phil Am Friendship Highway. So very close to Clark. And you can see there it's the Enclave, very close to Clark. So three bedroom duplex. Let's take a look for 4.5 mil. That's what you get, and it's one side. So I believe this is unit A on a condominium title. Actually, I'm very surprised that they were able to put this on a condominium title. Very surprised. Very small inside, though. That's the downsize. Yes, you can own it in your own name, but it's a bit small internally. Like even the rooms and the kitchen, it does look extremely small. Living space isn't that bad, but then there's another picture of one of the bedrooms and it's very small. And that's what you get. Okay, and that's 4.5 million. Next one for 4.5 million also is this one. It doesn't actually stipulate the exact location where it is, but it is in Angeles City somewhere. It's 185 square meters, four bedroom three bath and two car garage non-negotiable 4.5 million fixed for this big home moving along this one is priced at 4.5 million it says it's a high quality built bungalow by passwall building systems Let's have a look at this one. It says it's not too far from Clark, only 10 minutes drive from Clark. And it says it's located in one of the biggest, most secured subdivision in Angeles City with a beautiful clubhouse and swimming pool. But it doesn't actually stipulate which subdivision. And that's what you find online. It's very hard to know where this is actually located. So I'm not sure the subdivision, but it is apparently a good one. Nice little bungalow for 4.5 million. Get your checkbook ready. Make an offer, maybe offer them three. Who knows in this market. Moving along, this next one price at 4.7 million. It's a five bedroom, three bath. Let's take a look. I believe this is Mooring Estate is the location, the estate just looking at the outside of the building that's where it looks like it's uh, located in mooring estate so good size home and it's priced at 4.7 million very close to Angeles City next one is this one for 4.8 million and it's located in a good subdivision by the name of Mansfield residences so let's have a look at this So 
So Mansfield is a gated estate and it does have, you know, amenities and things. I believe it does have a pool as well. And that's it. Moving along is this one for 4.8. It is a house located in Timog Residences, which is fairly new actually. It's only been built in the last few years and it does feature a clubhouse and swimming pool with 24 seven security. Let's have a look at this for 4.8. Love that color, green, <laughs> neon green. Look at that, that's great, isn't it? Well, straight away I'd want a discount just because of the color because you'd have to repaint that horrible green color. I like the setup here. You do have your know, nice little terrace out the front and room for cars in the front so you can at least squeeze in two possibly three cars in the front yard there good size kitchen needs a bit of a clean by the looks and that's 4.8 Moving along, this next one, this is, I'm pretty sure this is Timog Park Homes. Just looking at it, it's the Hillary model, five millions for cash buyers only. It's only a small lot, but it's a good location for 113 square meters, five million. Still, they're asking a bit much in my opinion. Anyway, let's have a look. low maintenance with a terrace up top moving along okay this next one it says it's near to Clark Airport and it says it's Camilla home so it's about 10 minutes from Clark and very accessible so floor area is 142 square meters and the lot area is 132 one uh, sorry three bedroom with one bathroom let's have a look Nice new build. Personally, I don't like this developer so much. Um, it's It kind of caters to the lower end of the market, Camilla. And what I heard from a friend, he just bought a Camilla home and he's having all sorts of problems with the plumbing. So. Personally, I'm not too sure on this one, even though it looks fantastic. Moving along, this one. Now, this from memory is located in Metrogate. Yes, it's located in Metrogate. I believe it's a foreigner that is leaving. They were asking something like 6.5. They came down to like high fives. It's now down to 5.2 million. The house was only built a year and a half ago. It's a fixed price at 5.2 million. It's on a small lot in Metrogate, which is a good little location, again near Marquee Mall, but it can, you know, be a bit busy getting in and out to, you know, Walking Street and Fields if you're living here. So 5.2 million, three bedroom, 3.5 baths, and yeah, good size internally, 180 square meters. Let's have a look. I like the modern design from the front. Nice facade. big rooms and you're really getting bang for your buck on this property it's really good value priced at 5.2 I think it's well worth considering and look I know they say fix but if the right buyer comes along at the right time with cash they might even negotiate moving along this next one it's another Timog Park Homes house Price at 5.22 million and the lot area is 96 square meters. So that just gives you an idea of what things cost in Timog. Um, this is actually quite a nice house in Timog. They've kind of prettied it up and it does kind of look different from the other houses, the other row houses in the street. Unfortunately, that's the only picture. Moving along, this next one I really actually like a lot. Um, this is probably my favorite buy. This one and the other one I showed you in Metrogate for 5.2 million. Actually, this is really good value. It's down from six mid sixes 
and it's down to 5.5. It's a lovely little bungalow home on a modest sized lot, a good sized lot of 240 square meters. It's 142 square meters internally and that's all on one floor which is really nice. And it's in the town and country estate. Let's have a look. Nice big living and dining. Terrace. Parking. And that's the street view. Big bedrooms again. A very good size this one. Reasonably priced. Nice little garden in the front as well. And a really nice uh, street appeal. It's, it, it's got some good street appeal this property. So you go home and you look at your house and, and you think it's great. The next one. Okay now the pictures suck on this one but I had to include it because Again, it's a really good little buy. It's actually in Savannah Green Plains subdivision. Now, if you know Savannah, at the moment, you know, lots vary from anywhere from about starting from 12,000 peso per square meter up until maybe 15,000 peso per square meter. So, I mean, you know, a lot size of 165, you know, straight away, that, that lot's got to be worth at least like, what, two and a half million peso? So actually this is not a bad buy. It's on 237 square meters internally, so it is sizable. It is a foreclosure. The address is lot 10, block 63, Olive Street in Savannah, Green Plains. So if you're driving past, you might want to check this one out, this foreclosure. Now, drum roll. Next one, okay, so this is a brandy new house. Do you want a brandy new house? I want a brandy new house. What about you? Okay, so this is six million negotiable. Now I'm pretty sure this is in Metrogate. It doesn't stipulate, but I'm I'm almost certain it's in Metrogate. It's priced at six million negotiable. 150 square meters is the lot, and the floor area is around about 90 square meters high ceilings three bedroom two bath with a two car garage because we all want that okay let's have a look and it's brand new this home it's brandy new i should say it's brandy new how home you buy now near koreatown <laughs> let's have a look yeah it's a lovely looking home look at that it's just completed an interesting how in the philippines they build right up until the per perimeter. There is no setback. Crazy. Nice high ceilings. And you get a lot of light in there. Have a look at that lobby. Got parking. Modest sized bedrooms. And that's it. So yeah, thanks for watching. This has been Pete from the property club I hope you like this video if you do have a request please comment in the comment section below I am now taking requests and I am likely to do those requests thanks a lot have a great day and bye for now bye bye